We are at a critical point in scientific development. For hundreds of years, the human race has been creating technology that works against the planet, using it for our own benefit. As climate change looms over us, we are realizing that how we interact with our home must change. What better place to look for eco-friendly inspiration than the natural world itself? Biomimicry is a practice that looks to nature for inspiration. When it comes to making scientific breakthroughs, nature can offer us a lot of wisdom. By studying animals or plants, we can learn how they overcome problems in order to create solutions for our own lives. Due to being inspired by nature, the results are often sustainable and eco-friendly, which is incredibly important in solving our world's problems. There are three ways that scientists look to mimic nature. Form, process and ecosystem. By applying these solutions, our scientists can use nature to essentially skip ahead and implement ideas that have evolved over time to be the most effective. Japanese culture is heavily linked to nature and preserving the natural world. So it is unsurprising that the modern iteration of one of their most famous inventions, the Shinkansen, or bullet train, was inspired by the form of birds. There were two main issues that the 500 series Shinkansen were facing. Although they could travel 200 miles per hour, the sound levels exceeded environmental standards the first source of noise was the loud tunnel boom that was emitted when an atmospheric pressure wave was forced in front of the train as it travelled through a narrow tunnel. Eiji Nakatsu, an engineer with JR West, is a keen bird watcher. He was inspired by the kingfisher's elegant water entry. The train was streamlined to mimic the kingfisher's beak, allowing the train to move quickly from a low resistance medium to a high resistance medium. Thus, the Kingfisher Beak trains can move quickly from low drag open air to high drag air in tunnels with minimal impact on speed or noise level. The pantograph, a protrusion that extends above the train to receive electricity from wires overhead, was another source of noise. By looking at the silent flight of owls, the engineers were able to reduce this noise by adding structures to the main part of the pantograph. This mimics the way an owl's primary feathers have serrations that create small vortices instead of a large one. By implementing these discoveries, the new streamlined Shinkansen trains not only travel more quietly, but they also travel 10% faster and use 15% less electricity. By taking inspiration from nature, the Shinkansen engineers were able to solve problems quickly and effectively. How many other problems are we facing that could be solved by looking to nature? Is it possible to harness a cat's nimbleness into robotics? A plant's photosynthesis into energy production? Does the future of technology already exist in the world around us?